What's up, everybody? I'm Scott Bynal. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope my penis isn't hanging out. What's up, everybody? I'm Scott Bynal. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to compare two different guitar racks, guitar stands, guitar rack stands, these things that hold your guitars, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to be comparing these two models today. This is a string swing CC34, and this is a Hercules, 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 Hercules. GS523B, I think it's called. And the one behind me, the bigger one, is the GS525B. Uh, the features between the two Hercules models are the same. It's just that the bigger one is uh, bigger. All right, so why am I comparing these two racks today? Well, I've wanted to change some stuff up in this room. I've been using that larger Hercules stand behind me for a while now. Uh, you know, it takes up kind of a lot of floor space. It's a bigger footprint. So I wanted a couple smaller stands that I could move around uh, a bit more modular, squeeze more guitars into different spots in this room. So I thought I'd start off with the smaller Hercules stand. You know, Hercules being a brand and a product that I've used for many, many, many years. Their guitar racks, their uh, floor stands, their wall hangers, I've got them all over my house. And I wanted to compare that to the very popular String Swing 6 guitar rack. Uh, people love this thing. There's rave reviews of this thing online. Uh, they look great in photos. I figure there's probably some of you out there that are thinking about these two models as well. They're both very, very popular. So I thought I would get both, uh, gain some experience, use them for a little while, and share my opinion with you. And how I'm gonna do that today is using my eight completely arbitrary and totally subjective criteria for comparing Guitar rack stands. All right, so if you're still watching this video right now, it means you're a big, huge nerd like me and you wanna know how these two rack stands compare. You're probably wondering to yourself, hey Scott, what are those eight completely arbitrary and subjective criteria for comparing these two? I'm glad you asked. They include looks, expandability, spacing, sturdiness, price, footprint, ease of use, and mobility. So the first criteria is looks. I'll start with the string swing. This is a mostly wood construction and is a pretty attractive looking stand compared to most other stands on the market in the one to $200 range, which tend to all be black metal tubing type stands. Also, the string swing has two options for wood colors, a black walnut and an oak finish. Mine is oak. To be totally honest, I would have preferred the black walnut, but they were sold out when I bought mine and I was too impatient to wait for them to come back in stock. As for the Hercules, it's somewhat plain, black metal tubing, like many other racks on the market in this price point. Uh, it does have a couple yellow highlights. Overall, nothing flashy, not bad looking, but nothing to write home about either. All right, so the winner of the looks category is the string swing. Uh, not that the Hercules looks bad, actually it looks great. Uh, there's nothing wrong with how it looks, but I personally, you know, my opinion, I just prefer the look of the string swing with the wood. I think it looks nice in this room, uh, but you might think otherwise and uh, that's okay because again, this is a totally subjective and arbitrary comparison between these two racks, uh, but point string swing. The next criteria is expandability. The string swing is a fixed design so you can't add anything or take anything away in terms of the number of slots provided to hold your guitars. You've got six slots in fixed positions, no more no less. The Hercules, on the other hand, allows you to move the provided yokes to whatever spot you want along the stand, and you're able to add more yokes as you see fit. These cost extra if you want to buy some, but it's pretty modular in that the three guitar model can accommodate up to three extra yokes to hold a total of six guitars, and the five guitar model can accommodate up to five extra yokes to hold a total of 10 guitars. All right, so for the expandability criteria, the winner is, and this is pretty obvious, it's kind of a no-brainer, goes to the Hercules. The ability to add or take away yokes is a really nice feature. The string swing is fixed. You can't really do anything with it. What you get is what you get. Uh, so, point Hercules. The next criteria is spacing. This somewhat relates to the previous criteria of expandability. Spacing is just that, the amount of space and room between the guitars on the rack. The string swing slots are fixed. You can't move them to create more space or less space between your guitars. They either fit or they don't. The fixed spacing means you either have to keep your guitars fairly close and tight together to take advantage of the full six slots, or you need to space them out to give them a bit more room, but you lose the ability to have the maximum number of guitars in the stand. 
The Hercules, on the other hand, is totally modular. You can move around the yokes to wherever you want. You can have them equal distance or customize the spacing if you have a guitar that's a bit thicker, like a Les Paul or perhaps a hollow body or some kind of acoustic. So in terms of the spacing criteria, the clear winner for me is the Hercules. The ability to move around these yokes to customize the space in between your guitars is a major plus. Yes, they are fairly close together if you're squeezing six guitars into here, but having that ability to move them around to give a bit more breathing room for thicker guitars is great. The string swing, on the other hand, you can't do that. They're fixed, so you can't really do anything about it. Also, one thing to consider is not just the space between the bodies, but various headstocks have different angles. So if you have like a Gibson or something with a sharp angle to the headstock, you have to consider how they are going to be lining up or bumping up against each other when they're in the rack. The next criteria is sturdiness, and I'll start with the string swing. So if you assemble it correctly, it's pretty sturdy. So, you know, assemble it correctly. It's not rocket science, it's pretty easy. And if you are really challenged with the instructions, which I will admit are kind of shit, there are videos online that you can watch to walk you through it. But honestly, if you have ever used a screwdriver at some point in your life, you can build this. The string swing is structurally very sturdy, but what I will say is when you place your guitars on the rack, they are slightly more upright compared to other racks I've seen, including the Hercules. So this upright angle of the string swing might not be as desirable for some, since you have to be a bit more cautious when placing your guitars in the rack to make sure that they are at the right angle and sitting properly on the bass. The Hercules is also very sturdy and pretty much foolproof once it's set up. It has a slightly wider depth than the string swing, so it feels a little bit more grounded, but it's really not that big of a difference in terms of how sturdy it feels. One thing I'll say is that the angle of the guitars when they sit in the rack of the Hercules is a bit more pronounced. So when placing the guitars in the rack, it's a bit more forgiving. And I've heard from some other players that they prefer this because it feels a little bit more solid and more sturdy once you have the guitars on the rack because of this. And uh, I tend to agree. In terms of the sturdiness criteria, um, I'd say they're both pretty sturdy. You know, once you build these things, they're not going anywhere. There's no sway. Uh, they don't feel kind of floppy. They do feel pretty strong. Maybe the Hercules has a slight advantage because it's a bit deeper. So it feels a bit more stable, but not really. I mean, they both feel kind of the same. So I would say for the sturdiness criteria, uh, they both get a point, it's a tie. Next up, I'm gonna talk about pricing. The current price of the string swing for the oak finish like I have is $178 Canadian funds and the black walnut is 219. Obviously that price may vary depending on your location and your currency. The Hercules is a bit cheaper compared to the string swing. Considering how many guitars each holds, you can get a bit more bang for your buck with the Hercules. However, to expand the Hercules, you need to buy extra yokes. But in general, you'll spend slightly less on a Hercules to hold the same number of guitars. You can buy the Hercules three guitar rack for $127 Canadian and the larger five guitar rack for 150 bucks. The extra yokes are about $15 Canadian each. So to expand the Hercules three guitar rack to hold six guitars, you'd be spending about 172 bucks. And if you wanted to expand the five guitar rack to hold six guitars, you'd be spending about 165. And to take advantage of the full width of the five guitar rack, meaning going up to 10 guitars, you'd have to buy five extra yokes, bringing your total cost for that larger rack to hold 10 guitars to $225 Canadian. In terms of the price criteria, it's kind of hard to compare apples to apples, at least out of the box, because the string swing, you can hold six guitars on this rack right away. The smaller Hercules is three and the larger one is five. To expand these racks to get more guitars on them, you have to buy extra yokes from Hercules that cost extra money. Once you do that, so once you add three yokes, for example, to the smaller rack, you are getting pretty close to the price of what the string swing is. So it's kind of a wash between the two. Uh, so I would say uh, for the price criteria, it's a tie. They both get a point. Next up, I'll talk about footprint, which is the amount of floor space these racks take up. This time I'll start with the Hercules. The Hercules three guitar rack, which can accommodate up to six guitars with additional yokes is 24.4 inches wide, 25.2 inches tall, and a bit larger than the string swing in terms of depth at 19.7 inches. The Hercules 5 guitar rack, which can actually accommodate up to 10 guitars with extra yokes, is obviously larger at 39.4 inches wide, but the height and the depth are the same as the smaller Hercules model. The string swing, on the other hand, takes up a little less space than both Hercules options, speaking of the depth at least. 
The string swing is 25.5 inches wide, 30.5 inches tall, and can accommodate up to six guitars and has a depth of 14 inches, which is nearly six inches less than the Hercules. Okay, so for the floor space criteria, in terms of how much floor space do these models actually take up? Again, not comparing the larger Hercules model, but the smaller Hercules model with the string swing, I would say the string swing has the advantage here. Uh, they're about the same width, but the depth of the string swing is a lot less. So if you need to squeeze this into a smaller spot or, you know, like walking space around furniture or different things as a consideration, the string swing uh, gives you a little bit more flexibility compared to the Hercules. This next criteria might be perhaps the most important, at least in my opinion, it's ease of use. With the string swing, I have to be extremely careful since the spacing between guitars is relatively close together and the angle in which the guitars stand is fairly upright. You have to spend a few extra seconds to make sure the guitar is aligned and leaning just right. Now, it's not like I'm rough with my gear. You know, I tend to baby my really nice stuff, but I also pick up and put down my guitars often if I'm writing or recording or doing something with video. And with the string swing, I have to take a bit more care. As for the Hercules, I find setting guitars in the stand and picking them up way easier than the string swing. With the Hercules, it's a bit more straightforward and forgiving since the angle is easier to set the guitar down, not to mention you can customize the amount of space in between each guitar, which is a big consideration if you have really expensive guitars standing up right next to each other and you don't want them bumping into each other when you take them from the stand. In terms of ease of use, so that's how quickly can I pull a guitar out of the stand and put it back in. Uh, I would say the Hercules has a slight advantage here because you can move those yokes around to a custom space. Also, the bottom of the Hercules rack is pretty thick in terms of that padding. So I can quickly put guitars back in the rack without worrying about like fucking mangling them against another guitar. Whereas with the string swing, the guitars feel much closer together. The padding isn't as thick. And because of the angle is a bit more upright, the way the guitars stand, you have to be a little bit more like meticulous and careful about how you put them back in. Not that you shouldn't be careful putting your guitars back into a rack, but the point I'm trying to make is that the Hercules just is a bit more user friendly in that regard. So point Hercules. This last criteria is mobility and it refers to the ability to pack up the stand and take it with you. Say you're someone who gigs a lot or you're moving this to a jam space and you want a handful of guitars at your fingertips, this is what I'm talking about. While you can fold up the string swing, you need to remove that stabilizer screw you would have put in when building the stand. While the stabilizer screw is said to be optional, I highly recommend you put that screw in when you do build it. In addition, being made of wood, the string swing can be prone to dings, dents, scratches, things like that. So given this, I would say the string swing is really more of a stationary stand that you wouldn't want to pack up and take with you to a gig. The Hercules, on the other hand, folds up pretty easily and is rugged enough that if you wanted to take it on the road or use it for gigs, you'd have no issues doing so. The metal structure can take a beating and it'll be pretty sturdy once you set it up again. Not to mention how easy it is to place your guitars back in the stand and pick them up. So the changeover of guitars between songs is pretty fast when compared to a string swing. All right, so in terms of mobility, I would say that I think it's probably fair to call this like a bonus criteria because the ability to fold these up and move them around is not necessarily something that everybody is going to need or care about. I mean, if you're gigging or you're taking this to like your jam space, Yes, that's a criteria, but if you're like me, uh, these things just sit here, they don't really move, so it doesn't really matter. It's not really a factor to me, but if it's a factor for you, uh, the Hercules definitely wins here. It's really easy to pick it up, fold it up flat, throw it in the back of your car or your van or something and not really worry too much about it. Once you get to your spot, opening it back up is really, really simple. There's no screws, there's no screwdrivers involved. Uh, it's really simple, really straightforward, so point. Hercules. All right, so my final verdict between these two stands, the string swing and the Hercules guitar racks using my eight completely arbitrary and totally subjective criteria, the Hercules wins ever so slightly with four points compared to the string swing with three points. Uh, really the Hercules is four plus one or five points if you wanna include that bonus mobility criteria. You know, I've been using both of these stands now for a little bit of time. I've got a bit of experience with both of them. I do prefer the Hercules ever so slightly. Uh, you might have a different opinion, but I'm hoping that this video was informative or helpful in some way if you're considering uh, these two racks for your space. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.